Good morning, mathematicians. Today we are going to work on subtraction. We have a new method, which is going to be ungrouping from the left, that we will be talking about. So the problem I want to share with you is this one on page 243 in your math workbook. It says, on Tuesday morning, a music store had 463 copies of the new school day CD. By the end of the day, they had sold 275 copies. How many copies were left? So if I underline my important information, I know that they started with 463, but they sold, which is a keyword, 275 copies. The question is how many copies were left? That's gonna tell me with my keywords, and as I visualize this music store with these copies of this CD, and then them selling it, I can tell that I am going to be subtracting. So I'm gonna show you two ways, ungrouping from the left and ungrouping from the right. So ungrouping from the left is a little different than what we've done in the past. We'll compare both and see how we do. Usually we start in the ones place, but because we're ungrouping from the left, we're gonna start in the hundreds. When I look at the hundreds, do I need to make a new group? When we think about making new groups, we have to see, do we have a larger or greater number or digit on the top than we do below it? So I could do four minus two. So do I need to make a new group from a thousands? There are no thousands, right? So no, I can't. Now I'm gonna go ahead and look at my tens place. Six minus seven, can I do that? Nope, if I had six cookies, I can't give seven away. So I do need to ungroup. So that means I'm gonna get rid of this four, make it a three, take one away, and make a new group here. So I have 16 minus seven. Now I'm gonna go to my ones. I'm just moving from the left to the right. Three minus five, can I do that? Absolutely not. It's not enough. The number on top has to be greater than the number you're taking away from it. So I have to make a new group. I have 16 here. I'm gonna take away that one from that 16 and make this a 15 and make a new group. Okay, so if I were gonna do the same thing, but start on the right, I want you to see how they're similar and how they're different. If I start on the ones place, I'm still looking to see, can I do three minus five? Can I take five away from three? When the number on top is smaller than the number below it, you cannot do it you have to make a new group. So I'm gonna take a new group from the tens place, which if I take one away from six, that leaves me with five. Now I have a new 10. Then I'm going to see, can I do five minus seven? I can't do that. Five is smaller than seven, so I need to make a new group. I'm gonna cross out the four, make it a three, and add that 10 here to the tens place. So now I have 15 minus seven. Now, if you notice, we ended up with the same thing on top. It didn't really matter if we moved from left to right or from right to left. The neat thing about this method is you ungroup first and then you can subtract in any direction. So I could start even here, watch. I could start in the, on the left side in the hundreds place. Three minus two is one, 15 minus seven, Count up from seven to 15, seven in my head. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I see eight. And then I can do the same thing with 13 minus five, starting at five, count up to the 13. Five in my head. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I see eight again. Now this time, I'm gonna go from right to left. 13 minus five, I just did that, right? I know it's eight. 15 minus seven, I just did that. I know it's eight. And three minus two is one. So either way you ungroup, you're gonna get the same answer if you do it correctly. So let's try this method with a few subtraction problems. Turn to page 244. We're gonna look at number one, 686 minus 387. So I'm going to start on the left, just cause it's different. 
6 minus 3, can I do that? Yes, 6 is greater than 3, so that's not a problem. 8 minus 8, can I do that? Yes, because 8, take away, is just 0. 6 minus 7, can I do that? No, nope. 6 is less than 7, so I need to cross out that 8, make it a 7, make this 16. Now, this poses a problem now, because look what happened. Now that I made a new group for the 1s, can I still do the 10s? 7 minus 8? I can't. So now I have to go back, cross out that 6, make it a 5, and make that 17. So now all my numbers on top are greater than the numbers below. Now I can subtract from any direction I want. 5 minus 3 is 2. 17 minus 8 is 9. I know that because if I start at 8 and I put it in my head and count up to 17, I'd get 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'd get 9. 16 minus 7, start at 7, count up to 16. 7 in my head, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I'd get 9 again. So 299 would be the correct answer. You will see some problems on your assignment today that look like this, where the problem is actually going horizontally. You will need to, on scratch paper, rewrite that problem, make it vertical so you can practice these methods. Hey, this time I think I'll start in the ones. Seven minus eight, I can't do that. So I'm gonna cross out the two, make it a one, and carry the 10. Now I have one minus four. I can't do that, so I'm gonna cross out the six, make it a five, and I'm gonna carry the one. So now all my numbers on top are done. They're all greater than the ones below. Now I can subtract from any direction. I think I'll subtract from the ones place. 17 minus eight, eight in my head. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, I got nine. 11 minus four, four in my head. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I see seven. And then five minus three is two. Okay, we'll try one more. Number 13, Rochelle is putting 302 digital photos in an album. Of these, 194 are from her trip to the Grand Canyon. How many photos are not from Rochelle's trip? Well, if I added, my answer would not be reasonable. It'd be, oh gosh, about 500. So that wouldn't make sense since I know she only has 302 photos in all. So I know I'm gonna subtract. So the first thing I'm gonna do is stack it. So let's do it here. 302 minus 194. Okay, I'm going to start ungrouping from the hundreds this time. 3 minus 1, can do that because 3 is greater than 1. Uh-oh, 0 minus 9, I can't do that. So I'm going to have to make a new group, take away from that 3, put the 10 in the tens place. Now I can do 10 minus 9, but can I do 2 minus 4? No, because 2 is less than 4. So I have to get rid of that 10 that I just made, make that a 9, and put that 10 in the 1's place. Now if I check, all of these can be done. So I'm going to start in the 100's. 2 minus 1 is 1, 9 minus 9 is 0, and 12 minus 4, I'm going to count up, put 4 in my head, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I got 8. So now I know 108 photos are not from Rochelle's trip. And that makes sense because if I put that answer back in the problem, Rochelle is putting 302 digital photos in an album. Of these, 194 are from her trip to the Grand Canyon. 108 are not from Rochelle's trip. That makes sense. So today in your work on Think Central, you're going to be doing 4.13. Make sure you have scratch paper because you're going to have to do one of these methods, either ungrouping from the left or ungrouping from the right, 
on paper to get your answer. Don't forget to turn it in when you're done.